Right now, Broadway's Peter Pan is playing at Seattle's Paramount Theater. But this version is a little different from the one you saw as a kid. The iconic story has been entertaining audiences for nearly 70 years, and now it's ready to enchant the audiences of 2024. And here to tell us what's new is playwright Larissa Fasthorse. Welcome to New Day. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm so excited because I'm really excited to talk about this. But first, I want to ask about this iconic story. How did you get involved in creating the version that's on stage now? Yeah, um, you know, I was approached by the director and the producers to mm -hmm. do this. As a Native American woman, I've said this before, but I said no immediately. Yeah, because, you, yes. you know, I only knew about the bad parts, honestly, yeah, and I'd yeah. never seen it. Mm -hmm. And so this is the Jerome Robbins version. Everybody knows it. It's the one that was on TV every year with Mary Martin. It's the yep. one Sandy Duncan did, the one that Kathy Rigby did. Um, I actually didn't know it. So I read it and I was like, wow, this is, there's a reason it's endured for so long, right? right? And so um, I changed my mind quickly and I signed on. And you changed the book on this a lot. Because yeah. first of all, I want to talk about Tiger Lily. Always my favorite character. Yeah. <laughs> and I, you've reframed her character mm -hmm. and some of the awful indigenous stereotypes yeah. that have been so prominent in this tale. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, well, the first thing I did, honestly, just for women, mm -hmm. is Tiger Lily is now the leader of the tribe, as opposed to the daughter yeah. of the leader. Right on. Um, and, and she's also, um, she's a fighter. She fights, she dances, she sings, she does all the things. She's funny. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, her and the rest of her tribe, instead of just being random, magical things in Neverland, they are actually each the last of an indigenous culture that's ex extinct from this world. Oh. And then they use the magic of Neverland. You never grow old, right? Oh, my gosh, I have the chills. I have to tell that it's beautiful. Oh, Oh, right? oh, that's genius. <laughs> yeah. So they all go to Neverland to preserve their tribes and to preserve their culture. That's beautiful. And you also wove in like all sorts of heritage in the, down to the costumes, right? Yeah. Yeah, Serafina Bush, our Tony nominated costume designer, mm -hmm. she um, and I worked together to make sure each costume, there's a bunch of our indigenous people there, mm -hmm. um, represents the tr different tribes of, of different parts of the world that they're from. Yeah. And so each person is playing a version of themselves as opposed to putting on red face and playing something they're not. Yes. Wow, and it's powerful. Yeah, I love how you've incorporated people of all races, backgrounds, genders, because I have to say, it always bothered me mm -hmm. that the Lost Boys could only be Lost Boys and that Wendy's job was just to take care of others. Like, all of that, <laughs> this is why I didn't like Peter Pan. Those, <laughs> But it sounds like you're really taking all those stereotypes mm -hmm. and turn them on their heads, too. Yeah, I mean, Wendy is lots of fun. Wendy has dreams. Um, this is crazy, but there's a scene where Tiger Lily and Wendy talk to each other without Peter. What? what? <laughs> I know, nuts, Stop right? <laughs> yeah, but it was really important though, right? Like yeah. girls need to see girls, yeah. women talking to each other. And so, yeah, we really updated her to have as much fun in Neverland as everyone else does. She doesn't just work all the time. Okay, honestly, I'm just going to be real honest right now. I hated Peter Pan. I hated that <laughs> play. I hated the cartoon from Disney. And you're actually making me really think I'm going to like it. You will. I, I think, you think will. I'm excited. Okay, so. But I, okay, having said all that, I'm not, I, not everyone hates Peter Pan. So a lot of people really yeah. like struggle when they see something that this beloved change. Yes. What has been, what has it been like to work on this iconic tale and what has the feedback been like? Yeah, so the thing that I had, um, I call Lonnie Price, our director, I call mm -hmm. him the true believer. So he loves Peter Pan. He's one of those that has okay. loved it his entire life. All right, good. And so he was always my, my guide. Mm -hmm. and, and we went scene by scene and said, I said, Lonnie, what's the magic? What is the thing that we cannot lose? What is the thing that as a true Peter Pan oh. lover has to be here? And I always kept it, you know, because that was important. That, and what was it? Um, well, it's <laughs> every scene there's things. Think words like um, the line, I am youth, I am joy, I am freedom. Okay, you yeah, know, yeah, that yeah. has okay. to stay. You yeah. know, there's, there are things, there's magic in every scene that I didn't understand as, like you, not a lifetime Peter Pan lover. <laughs> and so I really listened to him and mm -hmm. I followed his guide that, like, this is what we love about it. This is the moment that is iconic in the scene. And we kept all of that. Um, you know, our goal was always that, a grandparent mm -hmm. could take their grandchild to Peter Pan and they could feel like they were sharing the same experience, the one that they had as a child and their grandchild is now having today. That's a real tall order though. It is. <laughs> Larissa, that's like a real tall, because yeah. honestly, I'm just learning so much from you sitting on the couch when it comes to just rewriting things. I mean, it is okay to bring in some of the old and accept mm -hmm. some of that and then bring in the new to yeah. connect the people. Is that really what you hope most of all people take away from this? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, our, our goal was always 
two things. One, that you could see the Peter Pan you loved, mm -hmm. as if you loved it before. Yeah. And two, that it no longer caused harm. It doesn't hurt. Yeah. It doesn't and, make you feel like yeah. you don't belong because in everyone, Neverland. Yeah, everyone should be able to enjoy the magic of Neverland. Because you, you should. You, you can go to Neverland and you don't have to be this specific thing. Mm -hmm. You can be anything. Exactly. That is magical. Yeah. You are magical. Thank you so uh, thank much for you. coming on the show. So thank fun. you for bringing the show here to Seattle. It's been a pleasure, and I cannot wait. And so just a reminder, you all, if you're excited as I am, Peter Pan is playing now at the Paramount Theater until August 25th. Head to STG website for tickets. I know I will be.